Today's show is sponsored by ExpressVPN. Working from home? Hmm. Protect your sensitive data with an extra layer of security at expressvpn.com slash inside. Hey everybody and welcome back to Inside Gaming for Tuesday. Did you know that weed makes you good at video games? What? Yep. No, dude, I'm serious. <laughs> it was tested in a lab by scientists. Oh, hell yeah. Listen to a little reggae while they were doing their tests. But anyway, you're cruising through your timeline at record speed when an article catches your eye. A new study has been done about video games and marijuana, and guess what? It says weed makes you a better gamer. Yes, you. Case closed, science is on your side. Pack that bowl and get cracking, baby. Mm. Unfortunately, mm. sorry to throw cold water on your <laughs> uh, grav bong made of two no! detergent bottles. But... It's a quick 180, yeah. <laughs> Unfortunately, things are rarely so cut and dry and if you spend any time on the internet, you're aware. There are studies that have been done exploring the relationship between marijuana and performance, but there hasn't been any one found conclusion that says you'll be a better video game player. It reminds me of like when that snowboarder this was years ago got like kicked out of the Olympics because he tested positive for marijuana. It's like, he's a snowboarder. Like, yeah, can you right. have a competition if you <laughs> test them all? But yeah, instead gamers have been left to connect findings from other unrelated studies back to their halos and their marketing Mario's and their Pong's, and it's allowed for some convenient conclusion. Nobody will do research like a pro pod activist, yeah. Right, yes. All the <laughs> websites I went to were like, thekindbud.com and Mary Jane <laughs> Stories and like... <laughs> High Times says High Times, great. yeah, yeah. Uh, players that may partake in the, the lifestyle more than others and are looking for evidence that their habit is not only harmless, but actually makes them better at something, can lead to a fair amount of confirmation bias. Especially when picking and choosing from studies that weren't conducted with games and... <laughs> This isn't to say that those findings can't apply to gaming, but it's a reminder to take these kinds of things with a grain of salt and consider that there are a few degrees of separation between the initial study and games. One of the more widely cited findings has to do with cannabis' effect on memory retention in the brains of Alzheimer's patients. Several Weed Forward publications reported on the same Netherlands study on the relationship between cannabis and Alzheimer's. It was conducted by the Groningen Mental Enhancement Department in the Netherlands. So this is great news for folks that suffer from Alzheimer's or showing early signs. It's not exactly about enhancing performance, not in the sense that we're talking about. It's just being able to, like, I guess, like remember your kids' faces or something. The only performance that matters. Unless uh, the Netherlands have been hosting some kind of elderly Olympics, uh, which would be kind of tight. We'll talk more about the sweet leaf in just a sec, but first, let's talk about something even sweeter, HBO Max. Today's episode is sponsored by HBO Max. Folks, we are in the midst of the holidays. Past Christmas or before New Year's. We're in the dog days, folks. And in true 2020 fashion, the holidays have looked a little bit different this year, but that's why we've partnered with HBO Max to keep the spirit of togetherness alive and with their library of films for the holiday season, no less. Are you staying put with your quarantine crew for the holidays? Eh, don't worry about it. HBO Max is the bingeable series for you. Are you at home with your overbearing family? Don't sweat it. HBO Max has that movie to get lost in. Are you doing the holidays solo? No worries, HBO Max has the titles that you'll want to discuss with your friends and family virtually. No matter what mood you're in this holiday season, HBO Max has something for you. HBO Max has so many classic holiday films right now. It's got a holiday fair, it's got a Christmas carol. Christmas is in the rear view, so I will be watching Wonder Woman 1984, which came out a few days ago, and His Dark Material season two finale. Yes, I'm still in season one, but that's okay. I have plenty of time. So get cozy at home this holiday season by heading to hbomax.com now! Now! Thank you, HBO Max. Okay, back to pot. The substance has in some form been legalized in several states as well as the District of Columbia, looking at you, New Jersey. Yet its continued classification as a Schedule One drug includes the stipulation that there is no currently accepted medical use. And Schedule One is like where all the really hard stuff yeah, is. Yeah, that's right? like, like heroin. heroin. Also yeah. heroin resp uh, responsible for worldwide, you know, opiate addictions mm -hmm. and marijuana. I don't, is there any like death from that? I think like, people I have lazy sons that never moved out. Yeah, right. That's, right. Which is that's worse ambition death. death, absolutely. But because of that designation, researchers need to accommodate for a number of government agencies, including the DEA, which can be a little finicky about buying marijuana, academic or not. Strict policies on possession, storing, and who can have access to the substance have made studies on marijuana very difficult to conduct, which is part of the reason that the Netherlands study was so widely referenced. Talking about the Alzheimer's uh, study. However, in the limited field of academic cannabis studies, there is a relatively large body of research as it applies to athletic competition. 
Weed is not typically thought of as ergogenic, otherwise known as intended to enhance physical performance, stamina, or recovery, but marijuana is listed on the WADA prohibited list, WADA being the World Anti-Doping Agency. Wada. 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 Wada joke, you know? You may know Wada from such classics as making the anti-doping rules and guidelines for the Olympics. They're not ubiquitous in all sports organizations, but they've set a worldwide code that many, many adhere to. And as we said, there's a significant amount of research about marijuana on his role as a performance enhancer, just not with gaming. So there's a basis for this. It's just a bit more opaque than we'd like it to be. So as squishy as the science may be on the effects marijuana has on video games, the science behind barring marijuana in conventional sports may be just a little bit suspect. Wada decides whether a substance should be on the list through a set of three criteria. Is the substance performance enhancing? Does it present potential health risks? And does it violate the spirit of the sport? A substance only needs to check two of those three boxes to be placed on the list. Cannabinoids apparently fulfill all three. The study breaks down why marijuana is on the prohibited list and sets out to answer the question of whether it belongs there. I feel like a high snowboarder does not violate the spirit of the sport. If anything, I feel no, like it's I in mean, full keeping. Again, no disrespect to snowboarders. They're a bunch of fun-loving guys. They gotta protect the rec center. <laughs> So let's talk about this study. First, they ask, is the substance performance enhancing? And the study in question says, yes, cannabinoids are performance enhancing, but why? Hmm. Why indeed. Although marijuana was proven to have no performance enhancing capabilities way back in 1982, the study posits that athletes were mainly motivated to use cannabis due to its effects on relaxation and well-being, promoting better sleep. Those rotten cheaters! And that cannabis is presented as a drug that has significant positive effects in sports, such as improvement of vision for goalkeepers and muscle relaxation. Seems a little roundabout, especially after the same study acknowledged smoking the chronic didn't increase vital capacity or grip strength, but apparently this is enough to certify that weed improves your performance. It also says that use of a substance in competition can lead to slower reaction times and short-term memory loss, but that seems bad, for, both for sports and video games. I'm just know. thinking about the, the fruit game in Fall Guys. But also, it's supposedly good for memory retention in Alzheimer's patients, so it's, it's, it's all over the map, but as far as WADA goes, bad for short-term memory. The second criteria, does it present potential health risks? Unfortunately, as much as we want cannabis to be the miracle leaf, the substance has been shown to have like a few adverse health effects. It can make you dizzy and paranoid and regular use can lead to memory issues. And being cool. Yeah. Yeah. And being and cool, it's... yeah, too cool. And then you'll have too many girlfriends. <laughs> <laughs> its effect on risk assessment can mean danger behind the wheel or in an athletic competition, which itself could lead to injury or worse. I mean, it is drugs. Uh, unless you have to get through a whole rotisserie chicken, two pounds of gummy sharks, and an entire season of how it's made in one sitting. Uh, it's, it's perfect for that. Or if you have like a jazz festival you need to be playing at. If you really need to lay into the pocket, my man. <laughs> if That's you've got a, cool. a session with Cab Calloway coming up. <laughs> yeah. Third, does it violate the spirit of the sport? Uh, very much depends on the sport. This one's, yeah, a little wishy-washy given that it's extremely subjective. But despite that, according to the study, marijuana and cannabinoid use within competition violates the spirit of sport. Part of their reasoning is that the substance is, quote, not consistent with the athlete as a role model for young people around the world. There oh, it is. God. We've all heard it. Oh, it think is. of the children. Yep. Oh my God, superhuman Mike Phelps. Mike Phelps. <laughs> Michael Phelps seen with a bong <laughs> take away his cereal deal. So considering the cultural makeover marijuana has undergone since 2013, this taboo probably doesn't carry so much water anymore, but a recent study written in 2018 still maintains that cannabis violates the spirit of the sport, according to the World Anti-Doping Code. So those are supposedly the reasons cannabis, synthetic and organic both, are prohibited by WADA. Obviously it's not one-to-one -one with games, but you know, let's draw some quick comparisons. Judging by the performance performance enhancing quality that the study claims. I can't imagine improved vision outweighing slower reaction times. Yes, games are pretty much all about reaction time. Sure, maybe you can get in the zone if you smoked up, if you if you toked one, but cannabis is clearly documented to have adverse effects as well. The truth is we really can't give you a definitive answer, but we laid out the whole WADA situation in an effort to show you how complicated and convoluted this substance is. I feel like not smoking actually violates the spirit of gaming. <laughs> like I feel like if you're not yes. if you're not toking up, if you're not packing a bowl between every, you know, every run in Spelunky 2, what are you doing? Yeah. 
I don't even like weed. <laughs> I'm just... No, I don't even. Yeah, I yeah. don't like going off personal experience and also the documented evidence. You won't get any significant leg up on games by smoking weed. Probably won't give you an edge, especially if you don't already consume the substance. It's not like you can be like straight edge and be like, oh, I've got an esports tryout tonight. I better go out and get some edibles. Our guess is that anyone on message boards claiming that cannabis provided some edge was likely not a first time user and it's anecdotal at best. So in the meantime, take a look at what the actual study is in regards to. Yeah, maybe it's about Alzheimer's patients. Literally the only time weed has has given me an edge in video games was I remember playing Rage on Xbox 360 and being <laughs> like, well, I don't care about the story now and I guess this is helping me not care about the story. There you go. That's good. Yeah, I mean, really all it helps me do is get into an open world game and then stand where I spawn in for like 20 minutes. <laughs> yeah. and, I'm just like, and then I like come to and I'm like, I'm gonna take a shower. <laughs> like, dude, I'm gonna go for a walk. Yeah. Horizon is in Skyrim is beautifully laid out. <laughs> Salvia, on the other hand, really oh, no. <laughs> really yeah. boosts your performance. You gotta, so give you gotta that a try. Get some Salvia and play Thumper in VR. <laughs> oh, Have a God. heart attack in your eyes. You will, you will go to another planet.